welcome to a another reading vlog. I haven't done one in a while, but I am participating in the Magical Readathon, as you guys already know, and I decided it'd be fun to kind of vlog my experience. It is like the 15th, the 16th as I'm filming this. I don't really know. I just know it's a Thursday. So I am a little late in the game, but I kept toying with the idea back and forth if I wanted to vlog it or not, because I just, I don't know. It's kind of hard when you're a mom to vlog, and also I don't feel like I'm aesthetic enough sometimes. But you know what? I was like, screw it. Who cares? I'm going to vlog this, and you get what you get, you know? <laughs> um, but yeah, it is like about two weeks into September, and I have read one book for the Magical Readathon. I haven't read one book this month. I've read more, but for the Readathon, I've only literally read one, so... I'm a little behind, even though, like, in order to, like, win the readathon, you need to only read two books, and you technically are good. But I, like the genius that I am, was like, hey, I'm going to do all 10 prompts. And that's not going to happen. Um, <laughs> I might do the seven. I'm hoping to. But who knows at this point. Um, I always put too much on my plate, but the book that I finished was Another Brooklyn by Jacqueline Woodson, and I read this for the read a standalone prompt, so just to, you know, read a book that's not a part of a series or anything, and I gave it four stars. It was good. Um, I enjoyed it. I was a little confused at parts, and I had to reread certain things, but I think that was just me. Like, I don't think it was the book's fault. I think it was just... I went into the book expecting one thing and got something kind of different so but it was still good the writing was extremely powerful and heartbreaking at times and it just I feel like if you are a woman and if you are specifically a black woman that this book will hit you in a like in a hard spot especially if you grew up kind of on the side of poverty to like middle class um, because there were some good themes explored in there. Um, there were sugar warnings for parent loss and for, um, child loss and all types of things and suicide. So just be on the lookout for things like that. But yeah, it was a good book. It was very well written. Um, and I'm glad that I read it. Uh, the book I'm currently reading, which I've been reading for a while now, but this thing is thick and just so all over the place <laughs> that is house of leaves by mark z danielewski this is a mixed media horror story about a haunted house that is one size on the outside but then it's way bigger in the inside and i'm enjoying it but it's it's a whirlwind um there's certain phrases that you have to like flip back and forth to read some things that are out of order some things you have to read backwards upside down and all types of weird stuff it's just it's a lot, <laughs> but I am enjoying it. It's just taking me a little while to get through it because of all the weird ways you have to go through. And sometimes I'm just sitting here like, huh? And I have to understand things and it's crazy. But I am going to also be reading another book that's going to fit another prompt. Did I mention what this one fit for? No, I didn't. It fits for um, haunted house, like ghost, supernatural type thing, that prompt. And I'm going to be reading... I'm going to start this right now, as a matter of fact. Cameron Battle and the Hidden Kingdoms by Jamar J. Perry. This is a debut middle grade, and it comes out in February of next year. So that's exciting. And I received an arc, and I want to read it. Because with me reading something as heavy as House of Leaves, I kind of need something light um, to just get through. And I'm just so excited. And I've been putting this off for too long. Well, I mean, I just got it not too long ago, but still, <laughs> I just want to read it. It's been screaming at me from my shelves. So that's what I'm going to do. And yeah, I might, um, I might make some coffee. I don't know. My husband has my son, took him to get his hair done. So, I mean, yeah, so I have the house to myself for now. I've had it for a couple hours, but I've been cleaning and things like that, watching some books too, if you know how it is. But yeah, I'm going to get some reading done and I will update you guys on my thoughts of Cameron Battle so far. Welcome to the reading vlog. <laughs>
So, I never opened this book. Like, I mean, I did, but I was always like flipping through the pages and I didn't see the front where he actually signed it. And he wrote a little note. It says, Melissa, thank you for your continued support of Cameron Battle and me. I hope you and your son love this book. And I'm trying not to cry in the club right now, but... And also you can hear Kayla in the background because I'm watching one of her videos as I'm reading. Then I'm emotional. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't know about the note. I feel so stupid. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Jamar. Oh my god. Like, wow. Wow. I'm gonna get to reading, but like, that really shocked me. saw I am listening to the Shire it's a reading ambience thing um I've been really into these type of things and it's been helping me read so much that and reading sprints I just got off of Steph over at coffee over apples is reading sprint she sprinted for two hours with another booktuber caffeinated covers and it was quite fun. I really enjoy when she sprints. And I love when Brie from Lock Petition sprints as well. So I've been watching a lot of their sprints and listening to The Shire as I read. Um, I read up to page 36 of Cameron Battle in the Hidden Kingdoms. I'm really freaking enjoying it. Um, I know I'm not even 50 pages into it, but the writing is really good. Um, I'm loving Cameron as a character. He just... He's just the sweetest little boy. And I'm having a good time reading it. Um, I did not read any of House of Leaves today. I actually was reading, during the sprints, I was reading Akata Witch by Nettie Okorafor. Which, if I don't finish House of Leaves in time, then that book is going to count for the reading something supernatural. Because it does deal with, like, um, juju and magic and spirits and stuff like that so it can count i believe but i actually was making some progress into the hero of ages by brandon sanderson honestly it's just an embarrassment at this point that i've never finished this book that i haven't finished the series i should say because i've been reading it for a while and this book i started reading it in june and it is september and for some reason i don't know what's going on i put it down and i was enjoying it i just did not pick it back up and then I started reading The Way of Kings which was a mistake because it's literally consumed me it's so good even though I'm slow reading that too uh, slow reading that <laughs> as well um Tamika and Monique have finished already so they're literally just waiting for next month I think I mentioned that already I'm not too sure they're literally waiting till next month so we can start Words of Radiance which I'm excited about I know I'm gonna finish The Way of Kings this month <laughs> Like, I don't know why I'm slow reading it, but I am on page 155 of this, really having a good time. I don't think this 
this can cover any prompts. I'm not too sure. I'd have to look into it. But I do need to like catch up and finish some prompts because mm -mm, I really want to I really want to complete as many prompts as possible, even though I know I, I only have to complete two. But it's just the competitor in me that's like, you can do more than that. <laughs> And also, I was looking over my TBR for the Magical Readathon, and I realized I put Master of Sorrows on there. And why did I think I was going to finish that this month? Why? That thing is gigantic. There's no way. Um, I will start it anyways, because, like, it's going to go, um, it's one of the prompts of the character creation, and we have until April of next year to do that, so... I can slow read that and I'll be fine. But I don't know why I thought I was going to like, because when I did my magical TBR video, I was like, hey, these are the 10 prompts and I'm going to try to complete all 10 in September. Why did I think I was going to complete all 10 when I have tomes like The Way of Kings, Fires of Vengeance, Master of Sorrows, House of Leaves on that list? Like what, what was I smoking? I don't know. <laughs> but, um... Nah, it's not going to happen. I'll be lucky if I could finish like four or five prompts. I don't think I'm going to finish seven. I'm damn sure I'm not finishing ten. But that's where I'm at right now. Talk about being overly ambitious. Plus, not to mention with my mood reader self, once it comes to like making a TBR, even though I like doing TBRs like this when it has to do with a readathon, I feel confined and I want to read everything but what I originally put on my TBR because... I like to self-sabotage, but it is what it is. I'm having a good time reading what I'm reading. Husband took our son out for their little walk. They take a walk together every night before bath time and before bedtime. So when they get back, my little one's going to have a bath and he's going to go to bed. Um, we finished dinner not too long ago. We had a really chill night. Just ate some Wendy's because I didn't feel like cooking. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a good night chilling that's my reading update um tomorrow i'm going to get a new hopefully a new sd card for um my camera because the sd card that came with the camera is like just not compatible with the camera so i have to get a new one but yeah we're gonna be doing that my son's gonna be getting his hair done because he didn't get it done yesterday because the my husband's cousin that was going to do his hair was too busy she was running way too many errands so we rescheduled it for tomorrow which is fine and yeah maybe hopefully i could go to the library for a little bit and skulk around and see what they got on the free the free section where i got the other books Even though i really shouldn't be doing that because i got no shelf space <laughs> but it is what it is we chilling and yeah um i'll talk to y'all later if i don't update you guys later today which i don't think i will because it's like eat something i will definitely update you tomorrow and i have a video to film tomorrow i filmed one yesterday i want to film another one today then edit the one i filmed yesterday to upload that sometime this weekend which you will have already seen it by the time this video goes up but yeah bye his little cartoons it's really early right now it's 7 a.m and i'm tired if you can't tell um i did some reading since the last time i updated you guys uh, as you saw in the last clip i read some of this the hero of ages this is the final book in the mistborn trilogy and i got to page 167 it's getting really good so far um the beginning was kind of rocky for me and so i put the book down for a while and was not finding motivation to pick it back up but it's getting interesting now we're following the perspective of a character that i find interesting right now at least at the part that i'm at 
So really enjoying that. Um, I got to page 50 in Cameron Battle and the Hidden Kingdoms. That's going good as well. Um, I'm taking that one a little bit slowly because I am reading it by myself, but I'm also reading certain parts of my son at night and stuff. So I know that this one's going to be a pretty slow read because of that, but I don't mind. I'm enjoying it. I just got to the part where Cameron gets transported to the world of Chidani. So really excited about that because I would love to see and explore this Chidani world. I finished Akata Witch by Nadia Cora for yesterday. Um, and I'm glad that I did. Um, I think I mentioned in an earlier clip that if I don't finish House of Leaves in time for the readathon, that I might just count Akata Witch as um being, you know, the book for that prompt because it has to deal with supernatural stuff. But I could also count the audiobook that I listened to last night, I listened to um, the novella A Dead Jin in Cairo by P. Jelly Clark because I really want to read A Master of Jin, but I want to get through the novellas first because I've heard that that's like the recommended way to go. And I really enjoyed it. Um, the narrator was freaking awesome. And the audiobook was not long at all. It was like an hour and some change. It was really short, but I really did enjoy it. Um... I loved how P. Jelly Clark gave us like this little snippet of a world, but he made it so compelling and you and so immersive that like I wasn't expecting the audiobook to end when it did. And I was just like, I need more like instantly. That was my instant thought. So I got the second novel. I don't know what the name of it is, but I got the second one and I'm going to do I'm going to listen to it tonight before I go to bed because that's basically what I did with um, A Dead Gen in Cairo. And I found it to be a good nighttime read, so I'm going to do it again tonight. Um, goals for today, reading-wise. Um, make some significant progress in House of Leaves because I want to finish that book because it's due on the 24th and today is like the 17th 18th I'm not too sure and I really just want to return the book I don't want to renew it so if I could finish it by the 24th that'd be great at the pace that I'm going I'm not really sure and yeah we'll move from there once I finish House of Leaves I plan on picking up Everfair by Nisi Shaw which I'm still so excited for because I've been anticipating that book being five stars and I just feel like I would really enjoy it and I'm just so excited to read it um I started Firekeeper's Daughter today as well and I started that on the recommendation of B from B's Bookish Hollow I think is their channel name and they read this recently and they just talked highly about it so I'm reading that on Kindle and I'm only five percent into it I'm not far at all that's like chapter four so but it's good so far I'm enjoying the writing style but like I said it's the beginning I'm five percent into it the book is like the ebook is like 469 pages long so I'm not that far into it at all but so far so good so now I'm going to make some coffee scrounge up some breakfast check on my husband because I know he had a pretty long night last night but he's off today so that's good um, I know he's going to play basketball this morning, so yeah, that's the plans. While he goes to basketball, I'm going to go and get our little one dressed and take him to the park. And I don't know what our plans are going to be for when he gets home. Probably go grocery shopping um, and probably pick up the SD card for my camera today. If not today, then I will definitely be getting it either tomorrow or Tuesday. One of those days. But yeah, that's the plan. I'll update y'all later. Bye. Little people, how cute you look. Oh yeah. Yeah. Starting. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Starting. Yeah. He's not paying me no mind. He's too busy looking at his cartoons. <laughs> <laughs> My husband has 
been nice enough to say that he would go and grab breakfast and my coffee so I don't have to cook and I don't have to make my own coffee which is great um I'm excited um <laughs> So this leaves me with some time to read for a bit before I have to get into the shower and get my child dressed and go to the park and all that stuff and before my husband goes to basketball. So yeah, I think I'm going to make some headway into House of Leaves. I think that's that's what I should do. I should go and make some headway into House of Leaves and I'm sorry about this bright shining glare. I can't do anything about it. I wish I could. <laughs> Um, what was I saying? I should make headway into House of Leaves. That's what I should do. But a part of me really wants to read something else. Either Hero of Ages or Cameron Battle right now. And I don't know what I'm going to listen to. Am I, am I going to listen to the logical side that says I should read House of Leaves so I could return it? Or my husband um, called me. He wanted to know what my order was going to be. Um. I switch it up quite a lot. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I was saying, the logical side of me knows I should read some more of House of Leaves. But I just dropped something. Um, <laughs> but the mood reader side of me really wants to pick up Cameron Battle or Hero of Ages. That's what I'm in the mood to read right now. So I don't know. I'll figure it out. I gotta do something about this hair, Lord. I got the condition today. But yeah, you'll see in the next clip what I'm going to be reading. my son to the park and we're gonna have a good time my husband already left for basketball I don't think I'm gonna get any reading done at the park but as you saw I did pick up house of leaves so I did make some headway in that ow my son is like pulling my finger he really wants to go but yeah read some house of leaves enjoying it I have some thoughts but when I get back out I'll, I'll let you know what the thoughts are because my son is very impatient See y'all a little bit. Jet planes in the night sky with you. Getting high in the sunrise with you. Getting through all the bad times with you. I wasn't missing a thing, no, I do. And I wish that I could do it. On. And now you're gone Oh, if only I could build a time machine I'd come and get you I can't forget you I miss you, I miss you I miss you all the time I wish that, I wish that I wish that you were mine. I miss you. Say head. Come say head. Sausage. Mm hmm. Knees. Oh. Kind of cute. Kind of cute. Not gonna lie. Hair's a mess. But I'm still kind of cute. Um. <laughs> uh. Time for an update, I guess. You're gonna hear music 
as per usual because the only time I really get a chance to film if my husband isn't here is when my son is watching his little afternoon cartoons. Um, as you guys saw in the last clip, I went to my husband's uncle's house with my husband and my son, of course, and we're congratulating them because they got married recently. Very exciting stuff. Um, so we had a good time. As you also saw in that clip, I brought some books that I was supposed to read while I was there, but I, I didn't read a single thing. Um, I also brought my journal. I don't know why, because I knew for a fact I wasn't going to journal there, but I, I, I don't know. I brought my journal. Um, it's not a reading journal. It's just like a regular basic journal because I'm not aesthetic at all, so... Um, I don't do book journaling. They're very nice and I like to look at them and I would love to do one one day, but uh, personally, I just don't really journal in them a lot. Um, but update. I have made some significant headway into House of Leaves. I am almost 400 pages into it. And y'all lied. Everybody that I watched that has read this dang book has sat there and said that it was scary and it's bull it's not scary at all it was a little creepy in the beginning i'm not gonna lie i was feeling the vibes but like i would say after like the 100 page mark i just was starting to get really bored nothing is scary and i feel like i feel like it's atmospheric it's very atmospheric and i feel like the author did a good job with this mixed media format but i feel like he's he went so far into doing that into giving us so many footnotes that it's kind of taken me out of the story and then there's this character named johnny which essentially okay this book and it's not really like a spoiler it's literally de it's literally described in the back and stuff um this follows a family called the navitsons and they moved into this house and it looks one size on the outside and when they moved in there was this like random ass hallway that came out of nowhere and this hallway is like increasing every day and so the man of the family will navison he gets like obsessed with it and he has like these video cameras because he's like a photojournalist or something so he has these video cameras all around the house and on himself like he has one attached to himself to document what's going on in the house as they explore it and yada 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 then there's this old man named Zampano who came across this video and apparently like there's no other existence of this video like anywhere around and he makes like a document like handwritten document and research into it and it made him crazy and then he ends up dying because of his obsession with this and now we follow Johnny who is observing the documentation of Zampano like reading the document that he wrote about the Navitson's video and now he's starting to get like obsessed and go down like this descending hill of madness or whatever and I I get it and I get that that's why he rambles a lot because of that like it's supposed to be his descent into madness but oh my god is he so fucking annoying like every time we get his like viewpoints it's like I'm trying to find an example it's literally like this look at this all this writing that's johnny and there's like no paragraph breaks it's just straight typing and it's not only just rambling but it's just like stuff that just doesn't make any sense like he would just constantly talk about how he's like sleeping with this girl and he goes and he does drugs at this party and goes back to sleep with this girl like this man has slept with every girl on the planet like johnny i don't care if you stick your penis in a light bulb at this point just stop just <laughs> Like, he's just so annoyingly frustrating. Like, at this point, I want him to die. Like, I'm hoping that's his end result. I hope his descent to madness is so intense that he just ends up dying so he could just stop rambling throughout this entire book. Like, I'll be this, I'll be reading the main story, which is a little bit interesting. And then you gotta read his whole freaking monologue that goes on for pages and pages and pages and then by the time you're done with his monologue for that segment and you go back into the story you're just like what the heck did i read and how is that relevant at all to the main story like it's just i appreciate what the author did the author did a good job and i know he worked hard on doing this mixed media format and wanting to seem like a 
in a, a different type of horror story, which I get and I appreciate, but God dang, like <laughs> Johnny needs to just dial it back, bro. Like I am so sick of him. And I just, I'm just hoping for him to die. And also, I'm not, I don't care about any of these characters. Like, I know it's a horror story. And usually horror stories, when I read them, I don't feel any type of way towards the characters because it's like, you know, it's a horror story. Like, most horror stories are not going to go into, like, a deep dive of their characters because it's just, like, it's horror. The aspect they're focusing on is the creepiness and the scariness and all that. But... These characters, I want them all to just die. Like, just all of you guys just die. I won't care. I, like, I'm just waiting for that. And it's just, I feel like this book is too long. Like, if it was shorter, I think I would get more enjoyment out of it. But it's so long and it just feels like it's dragging and nobody in this book is even remotely likable. Like, not even the kids in the book are likable. <laughs> and I'm just there, like, please can we just hurry this up can y'all just like die or whatever the heck is gonna happen and a lot of this stuff isn't making any sense because it's like they called the cops i don't know what the hell they expected the cops to do about the hallway like the hell and like the cop had like gone into the hallway and was like oh this is like really long and deep and he got spooked and he left and he won't talk about it and i'm just like so you are just going to know this phenomenon exists in the world and you're not going to say anything to like anybody or whatever. Like you're just going to try to figure this out on your own or your dumb behind is going to go in the hallway. But then again, they're white and we all know how white people are. Y'all like to explore, no offense to my white viewers, but y'all like to explore sounds and suspicious activity. Get the hell up out of there. That's what you need to do. Like, mm mm-hmm. There was only one smart white guy in this book so far, and his name is Tom. And it was going to explore the hallway, and Tom was like, I'm going to stay over here on this side of the hallway, and I'm not going any further, yada, yada, yada. And they were like, oh, you should, da, 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 da. you're being like chicken. And he's like, no. Honestly, I wouldn't have even been in that hall. I wouldn't have been in that house. As soon as I would have opened that and I would have seen, okay, this is extending. Okay, that's not my business. This is not my portion. I'm not supposed to be handling this. I would have been out of that house a long time ago why would you stay in the house because you want to investigate why it's bigger on the inside than the outside who gives a shit just go <laughs> like that's not your problem at that point you know like <laughs> sayonara i'm not mm -mm. i don't i just please explain to me why y'all do that like why why do y'all do that because i'm the type of person i hear one suspicious noise and i'm gone like you know i don't play that and I just don't understand why you would want to investigate a noise or something that you know yourself is not supposed to be there. Mind your business and go. Like, all you need to know is that it's not supposed to be there. That's all you need to know. You don't need any more information on that. Who cares who's causing that? Because, okay, like, you go and you investigate and you find out that it's like, I don't know, freaking ghosts. What are you going to do? Can you attack ghosts? No, you cannot. So why are you even investigating it in the first place? Mind your business. Like... I don't know, I'm going off on a tangent, but literally this book is reminding me of every horror movie that I watch where, like, white people just go and do the dumbest things. Like, just freaking leave. Just go. Don't ask questions. Don't investigate it. There's nothing you can do about it. You are a human being at the end of the day. You're not, you don't have superpowers. What are you, Ghostbusters? Like, get out. I don't know. But that's basically what they're doing. They're literally playing Ghostbusters in this house and trying to get in here. And people are dying left and right because they want to be stupid. And then they're still investigating. And I'm like you see people dying and you're still gonna look in like they just deserve to die at this point because you're clearly being dumb like i feel a little bad for the kids because their parents are the ones like forcing them to stay in the house even though all this crap is going on but other than that i'm just like well the rest of y'all i can't feel bad if you die because you're clearly just hanging around for whatever freaking reason because you think that you could figure this out like they're talking about they're hearing growls and all types of stuff in the hallway. Get out! <laughs> like, I promise you, it's not like it's a raccoon stuck in the walls or something. Go! <laughs> I just can't. But anyways, that was my rant on this. I'm putting this book down for the moment because I'm just getting way too worked up about how dumb everybody is acting in this damn book. How dumb Johnny's acting because he even mentions, I feel like researching this is making me go like, you good buddy? Okay. is like making me go nuts and everything 
but yeah, you still want to read the stuff. Like his friend is like, if I were you, just dump it because you're not acting yourself. And he's like, no, I'm gonna keep researching it. Don't make no sense. Don't make no sense, but whatever. Ooh, my hand is shaking like crazy. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna pick up something else. I'm probably gonna pick up um, Cameron Battle and read some more of that. I need some like middle grade to like just get this stupid book out of my head right now like I'm only trying to I'm only finishing it because it's from the library um and also like I'm kind of close to the end so might as well just see it out but it's due on the 24th and if I'm not finished by the 24th it's the 22nd now so if I'm not finished with it by the 24th I don't care I'm just gonna take the books to the library and call it a day because I'm not about to renew this like I'm just that annoyed by this like <laughs> It started off so good, and now it's just being so aggravating. But, yep, that's my update. That's my little rant. And I'll read some more and update y'all later. Bye, guys. So let's just ignore the fact that my hair is crusty as always, and that every time I film, you hear cartoons in the background. Like I said, when I'm home by myself, taking care of my son, sir, Sir? Hey! The only time I really get to film, usually, is when he's watching his cartoons. So. Hey, Papas. Hey. You want to be on camera? Do you want to be on camera? Yellow. Yellow. Good job. <laughs> um. Yeah! Sir. Um, anyways, um, I have not finished House of Leaves yet, and it's been like two, three days since I filmed the last clip. Don't know what's wrong with me, but I have not been wanting to really pick up anything that's been on this TBR. Someone wants to pop in. Hi. He has like sweet potato on his face. He had um sweet potato for breakfast. No. Um, what was I gonna say? Hey! But anyways, <laughs> I decided to finish up. I decided to, I decided to start and finish. <laughs> I decided to start and finish Halloween Party by Agatha Christie. This was supposed to cover the prom for... For mystery or a thriller. And I don't own too many thrillers. Usually I borrow them from my library because I know I'm not going to reread them. So it doesn't make sense for me to buy them. Not to say that I haven't bought any. I bought a few, but not a lot. And none of them are interesting to me at the moment. Like, I didn't quite picking it up. So I decided to pick this up. This is a murder mystery thing about this girl who witnessed a murder. And then at a Halloween party, a prank is played on her. And I believe she dies. And so they're trying to solve her murder. And it's just a whole lot of good times. I love Agatha Christie novels. I feel like they're fast and easy to read. Um, but yeah, that is my plan for today. Uh, waiting for my husband to go and well he already left but he's bringing me a coffee because he's such a sweetie and please don't destroy my book sir and yeah that's the plan for today I did get to 533 page 533 in uh, the way of kings last night so I did do some reading and I also read have been reading I read a dead gen in Cairo and the angel of El of Khan El Khalili, both by P. Jelly Clark, which was a good time, especially The Angel, because I like the story of a dungeon in Cairo better, but I love the fact that um, the angel of Khan El Khalili was narrated by LeVar Burton on his podcast, like he read it. Um, I'm, he's not the original narrator, but he did read it on his podcast, sir, <laughs> which was awesome. I felt like I was watching Reading Rainbow once again. But I loved both stories. Um, and I'm going to read A Haunting of 
Tram Car 015, I think it's called. I'm going to be reading it tonight. I was going to listen to the audiobook last night because that's how I've been reading these. Because the audiobook is like an hour long. So it's something nice to read before I go to bed. But last night I was way too tired and I just went to sleep. That was it. Um, do you hear him singing? <laughs> well, clearly you do because he's singing so loud. Which is fine. Oh, he wants to be back in the camera. Hi, sir. Hi, kitty. And, um, yeah, so I'll listen to it tonight because I I feel pretty refreshed today. I just need my coffee. So, hi, sir. I'll be reading it either while I'm cleaning or making dinner or before I go to sleep. Although I do want to do it before I go to sleep because that's how I read the other audiobooks. And once I'm done with those, I do plan on purchasing A Master of Gin, which is his believe first completed novel i think everything else he's written has been like little novelettes but yeah that is the plan that'll be a treat for myself once i finish the audiobooks of the little novellas that come before i just have to finish this last one and i'll be good to go um but yeah hoping to get more reading done you might get some clips of us at the park because we are going to the park once i finish my copy yay and yeah, that's it. <laughs> See y'all in a little bit. Bye. some of this i'm on page 40 and you know i have to remind myself <laughs> while reading this that this is an a very older book very dated um this is i think it was printed in 1969 um because some of the things they say in there and this book is a little bit touchy they have discussions on the like um doctors allowing people with mental illness to reside at their home versus like being automatically locked in mental, in in mental institutions and um they talk about like how someone who has like mental issues it will like never recover and never should never be allowed to be in normal society and stuff like that that they're all just the bad ones and you know there's a whole bunch of outdated stuff and it is a little like hmm especially as somebody who does um deal with mental illness but I just keep in mind that it's dated so and the discussions back then you know they weren't really as I don't know, I guess you could say progressive as they are now. Um, so, yeah. But other than that, it's going good. Um, one thing I'm not liking about this, I mean, I guess, I don't know if this is in every Agatha Christie novel. I haven't read an Agatha Christie novel in years. But it's like, we found out what happened. Like, who got murdered or whatever the case may be. But it's like, there's so many long monologues between the characters like it's Hercule and he's talking to the person who brought the murder to his attention and they're just going on and it's like they go off on little tangents then he's talking to this older man that helps him with the case or that he helps with the case like in another book and they're going off on tangents and I'm just like why do y'all keep wandering off <laughs> like topics and um speaking of how earlier I felt like um things were dated there is one thing I want to read to you guys that really made me a little bit uncomfortable because if this was like a horror story where the shock factor was supposed to be in there and like they're supposed to be like I guess you could say crude characters and things like that then I can understand in a way but this is just like a murder mystery type thing um hold on I'm gonna try to see if I could find the page that I'm thinking of Uh, 
Okay. So they're talking about the girl. Before I, I'm going to read a little passage to you. But they're talking about the girl that got married whose name is uh, Joyce. And she's 13 years old. And um, so, you know, they're talking about her murder and how she was found and stuff like that. And I'm going to read a passage. And you guys are going to see why. <laughs> why I feel a little uncomfortable. Says, um, I thought you can help, said Mrs. Oliver. You see, it's not simple. It could be and it could not, said Pearl. A lot depends. You must tell me more, you know. The police, I presume, are in charge. A doctor was no doubt called. What did he say? There's to be an inquest, said Mrs. Oliver. Naturally. Tomorrow or the next day. This girl, this Joyce, how old was she? That's um, Hercule asking how old she is. So then Miss Oliver says, sorry, the book is in the way. I don't know exactly. I should think perhaps 12 or 13. Where Hercule says, small for her age? No, no, I should think rather mature, perhaps. Lumpy, said Mrs. Oliver. And then Hercule, who is an older man, he's like on the older side of middle aged at this point, says, well developed? You mean sexy looking? And then Mrs. Oliver says, yes, that is what I mean. And it's like, I get what he was trying to say. <laughs> That she looked mature for her age because it, it happens. Some of us develop more and faster than others, which is normal. But I'm just a little, I'm just uncomfortable with the way he just like said that a 13 year old, like, was she sexy looking? Because it's like, I don't care how developed she is. She's 13. So like, I don't know. It just was weird. It was uncomfortable in that context. And again, I understand this is dated. I do feel a little weird that Agatha Christie as a woman wrote those lines. Like, did she feel some type of way? But I don't know. But clearly she didn't because she wrote it. <laughs> but yeah, that did make me feel a tad bit uncomfortable. Um, but other than that, it's going fine. Um, slower than I thought it would because they keep going on all these tangents and monologues. And I'm just like, can we get to the part where we're like looking for clues for the case? Like that be, that would be dope if we could do that. But yeah, I'm having a good time. I look very much like I'm high or drunk or something. And I promise I'm not. I'm literally just so tired. Um my I feel like I mentioned this in an earlier clip my mental health has been shitty and so like my anxiety my anxiety especially has been spiking so much this past week like I don't know I just like get in my own head and before I know it I'm having a panic attack and it's just been very rough and when my anxiety gets as bad as it does, I cannot sleep at night no matter what I do. I try to take melatonin and all that, but my anxiety is like, ha ha, joke's on you because I'm not even going to allow the melatonin to work. So that's nice. I haven't really been sleeping. And, you know, as a mom to a toddler, you know, the sleep you can get, but <sighs> that's anxiety for you. Whew. Um, but Yeah. This will probably be the last update of tonight. I'll probably update you guys tomorrow because I'm just not feeling it right now. I'm just really tired. Um, Tomorrow, we're supposed to go grocery shopping. So, that'll be exciting. But, yeah. I'll update you guys later. Peace out. Bye-bye. Kudo helps me. <laughs> I didn't even finish it. Pluto helps me. Thank you for telling me you're tired. Pluto has a big help. Oops, Goofy helps fix up. Let me get those discuss. Minnie and Daisy get. Oh my god. <laughs> we'll get another book. Pluto helps Mickey paint. Pluto's a big help. Oh my god. Throw me another book! <laughs> I'm tired of reading the same thing over and over again. Don't help me, brother, out. 
Pudo. <laughs> I don't know what's funny. I'm so lost. I feel like I'm thinking. I'm, I'm overthinking it way too much. I forgot to close out the vlog, but here's me closing it up. <laughs> um, safe to say that this readathon was a bust. Um. I didn't read as much as I wanted to. I mean, I read a good amount. Uh, I just didn't read anything that had to do with the readathon because my brain was like, uh, no thank you, we're exiting out of that. Um, as soon as I tell myself I'm gonna read these books this month, my brain just shuts down. It's like, no, I want to read everything but that. So, I don't think I finished anything that I started in this vlog. I'm not... Probably another Brooklyn. I'm pretty... I finished that. And I finished some other books. But like I said, none of it had anything to do with um, the readathon, unfortunately. My September wrap-up, I think, is going to go up before this vlog. Because I take forever to edit vlogs. My son is tired. I gotta put him to bed soon. Um, but his mood is how I feel about <laughs> about how well this reading vlog went. Um, but yeah, I did end up DNFing House of Leaves because it just, it was too much. It wasn't for me. Um, I have started Everfair, which I got from my library. It has nothing to do with the Magic Order Thought either, but I am so enjoying that. Um, but yeah. That's a wrap. Enjoy this chaotic vlog. I hope you did because I can't make an, like a proper vlog to save my life. My, <laughs> I haven't made that many reading vlogs, but the ones that I have made, it has like a pattern to it, which is just being a chaotic mess. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. gosh <laughs> I bought my son a toy the other day that I didn't realize makes noise until we got home so that's what you guys are hearing but anyways I'll see you guys in another video um don't forget to like this a video if you enjoyed it um comment down below um how you guys did for the magical readathon and I'll see you guys like I said in my next video don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because it helps out my channel out a lot. And I'll see y'all later. Stay safe. Wear a mask. Get vaccinated if you are able to. All that jazz. Don't forget to check the links in my description for things that are going on and ways that you can help. Bye. Love you. Ah.